What's up, everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Trader Joe, the centralized exchange on Avalanche Network. So this is the website. And then if you press on trade tab, it will take you to the actual exchange. And right here, we'll have to connect our wallet. So you will have to press connect to a wallet. And before we're going to connect the wallet, I'm going to show you how to download and add Avalanche Network to MetaMask wallet. So we're going to be using this MetaMask wallet. So we'll have to go to this website and I'll leave a link in the description below. And then we'll have to press on download now and then install MetaMask for Chrome, add to Chrome and add an extension. OK, once it's done, we'll get to this page. Now we can press on get started. And then in here we'll have an option. Either we can import wallet or create new. For this video tutorial, I'm just going to be creating new wallet. But if you already have MetaMask, you can press on import wallet. And then in here you can either help improve metamask or you can press on no thank you and then we have to come up with a password and then put a check mark and then create and then right here we need to press on next and then in here it's gonna show us our secret recovery phrase we have to make sure we save this phrase so i'm gonna press on it and then once you save it you press on next and then in here, you'll have to confirm your recovery phrase. And then press on confirm. And then that's it, all done. And then we'll have this pop up. Basically, it's going to say what's new. And by default, we have Ethereum blockchain. So what we have to do, we have to press on this little carrot. And then right here, we need to press add network. Or you can do it on a full screen. Or if we'll go back here we can do exactly the same thing right here add a network and then new window is going to appear right here we'll have to add this network we'll have to go to this website and i will also leave link in the description below and right here we're going to have to copy network name rpc chain id symbol and explore into here and then we'll save so i'm going to do this really quick right now and that's it now we have Avalanche network successfully added into our MetaMask wallet. So next thing we need to do, we need to connect our wallet to Trader Joe decentralized exchange. We'll go back to the website and then we're going to press on connect to a wallet. And then this window is going to appear. And right here, we need to press on MetaMask. Then this window is going to appear. It's going to try to connect with MetaMask to Trader Joe Dex. Press next and then connect. And then once connection established, you'll see your Avalanche address here. So next thing we need to do before we're going to make any trades, we need to have some Avalanche. And let me bring this right here. The easiest way to buy Avalanche is on Coinbase.com. You can add your bank card in here after you register, and then you can directly purchase from here with your bank account. So once you purchase Avalanche, you go to assets and then right here, I already have some. $44. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press on it. And then, then I'm going to press on send and receive. And then in here, we need to paste Avalanche address. So if we go back here, and if we go back to our MetaMask, in here, we can just press on copy to clipboard. And then we're going to go back to our Coinbase, and then we're going to paste this address here. Always double check before you're going to send. I'm going to press on send all. Make sure it says pay with Avalanche and then press on continue. And right here, we're going to see Coinbase fee, network fee, and then total. This is the amount that I have. And this is what I'm going to be sending because it's going to take some fees out. And then I'm going to press on send now and then send now one more time. Now we have to confirm our two step verification and then press on confirm. And that's it. It's done. Now we can press on done and we can go back to our avalanche and then we'll wait a few minutes until we're going to get avalanche in our wallet. OK, it's been less than a minute and I already received my avalanche in my wallet. The next thing we need to do before we're going to make any trades, I'm going to show you going get a website. So right here, for example, this is Trader Joe page on CoinGecko and right here you can see how many coins they have listed at the time of recording this video they have 127 and they have 688 pairs 
So you can see right here what exactly they use. I think this is their stable coin to Wonderland or wrap Avalanche to Tether. And you can just scroll down and see exactly what pairs do they have. So for this video tutorial, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be purchasing actually Trader Joe coin. This is actually their DEX coin. And for example, if you found some kind of coin that's on Avalanche and then you go press on markets, you can see right here that coin is listed on different markets and Trader Joe. And this is centralized exchanges. And for example, if you don't want to use centralized exchanges, you just want to use Trader Joe or decentralized exchange. This is going to be the best way to do it. So once you found the coin, the one you would like to change, go back to Trader Joe website right here. We need to choose AVAX and it's already show my balance that I have 34%. And then in here, we need to find what kind of coin we would like to purchase. So if you press on it, I'm going to type Joe. And then I press on Joe. So right here, we can type the percentage, how much avalanche we would like to use to swap for Trader Joe, or we can just press on max. So for this video tutorial, I'm just going to use 0.07. And for that amount, I'm going to be getting four Trader Joe coins. And then right here, liquidity providers fee, and then price impact, and then minimum received. So then we're going to press on swap and then confirm swap. Then this window is going to appear again. Basically, it's going to request for another confirmation. Confirm. And that's it. Transaction submitted. And we can view the transaction on Snow Trace. Also, keep in mind, if you are trading any kind of coins, you always have to have AVAX in your wallet because that's what you're going to use to pay for gas fees. And looks like swap was successfully done. And if I go back to my wallet, I can press on assets and I don't see Trader Joe right now. By some reason, it did not appear. So if I'm going to press on import token, I'll have to add contract address. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to CoinGecko and right here, I'm going to copy or I can press on this little fox and it's going to add to MetaMask, but I'm going to do manually. I'm going to click on copy. So it just copy contract address. Then I'm going to go back here. I'm going to open up MetaMask. I'm going to press on import token. And in here, I'm going to paste that contract address. And by default, it's going to fill all this information and then add custom token and then import. And as you can see, it shows that I received four tokens. If I go back to this account, I can see the remaining of Avalanche token. And I can see my new 4.059 Joe tokens. And this is pretty much it. You can view this on a snow trace. You can see exact transaction on their blockchain. And this is pretty much it. That's how you use Trader Joe to swap tokens. And if this video was helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.